Hello and welcome. It's time to see my mini for the first time. As it's a mini episode, I have to speak quickly. Shall I slow down? I don't know. Please look and subscribe. Today I'm going to investigate a random page from Brevetons Phantasmagoria, a compendium of monsters, myths, and legends by Terry Breverton. Uh, help us. So here we go. Let's random the sizes. Page 275, lovely. And story one of two. So what have we got? The Olmec Stone Heads. Let's investigate. What? These colossal stone heads were first found in the Tre Sapotes archaeological site in 1862. They must have thought to themselves... Oh wow, look at this. 17 have been discovered so far. It seems the Olmec people, a very early civilization of Mesoamerica, flourished around the current day locations of Tabasco and Veracruz. They may well have been the sculptors of the leaders. When? Well, it could be as far back as 1500 BCE. Other things happening around this time. Egypt was in its 18th dynasty. There are some traces of an early alphabet and Cliff Richard achieved his second number one single. But why? It seems the Olmecs were a great civilization, and possibly the mother culture of the region, which means they were the early influence for future great civilizations, such as the Mayans and the Zapotecs. They had cool sculpture and used materials such as jade, obsidian, and magnetite. What's the big question then? So these things are called colossal stone heads for a reason, right? They're massive. The materials they were using in them could only have come from volcanic sites. And it seems they would have been transporting them over a hundred kilometers. Over a hundred. You okay? <laughs> Help! How? The question, the big question is how did they transport them from there to, to there to where they were? This is my one. This is my one. Well, option A aliens. Or option B, a combination of water transport and wood rolly rolly log rollies to roll. However, it appears a lot of the land they would have to travel was actually marshland. <coughs> Therefore, my final conclusion on this case is unexplained. I'll be back next week with my second full length video. Until then, keep watching the skis. And if you want to see my mini again, join me in two weeks. Okay, 